Long sigh for dramatic effect. <laughs> Can't believe it's my first week back and this is the shit that I need to make. Let's begin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. No fancy audio, no fancy intro. Now there is a reason for this. I actually reformatted my computer last week so everything's kinda up in the air. And I have a funny suspicion my microphone is going to make me sound like a Barry White Scottish equivalent. <laughs> So I do apologise in advance. So, let me tell you a story, and let me take it one step further. Let me show you how to actually make a thumbnail. And you're probably saying to yourself, Steph, why the fuck are you showing me how to make a thumbnail? That's, that's ABC stuff. And you are correct. But, I was browsing Facebook, I was doing the usual, I was wasting time. I came across this post. Thank you all, I uploaded a tutorial of 3D modelling. Please subscribe. It's your standard stuff. You've got somebody starting off on YouTube. It does take a little bit of pimping. You need to you need to hear yourself quite a lot. And then I seen the latest performance and I thought to myself, I've seen that thumbnail somewhere before. And guess what? I was correct. <laughs> now, if you don't know, this is my channel. Now, I'm not adverse to somebody copying the design of a thumbnail. Now when it comes to Blender thumbnails, they can be a little bit generic. Sometimes I've caught myself doing it. Now it might be subconscious, it might even just be you've seen something and you, it gets stuck in your brain. And you might make it later down the line. So, copying a thumbnail is not a problem. And the style used to be this quarter things. And then there is a reason why we actually put a border around it. It's a little bit of a, it's a, little bit of a psychology thing to be honest. But if we take a look at Blender thumbnails. Now, Blender Guru, top dog. That's his big head there. Remember when his head just used to be this size in the thumbnails? <laughs> now it's the full size of the page. <laughs> Fair enough. He's a leader when it comes to the Blender tutorials. Ask NK always has this style with his font, with the image in the background. Grant Abbott always has this kind of one-third things. And I have caught myself doing something very similar to what Curtis does with the border. And to the point I was like, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit too close actually. I might change that. My dog is actually eating my chair below. You can tell the quality of this video is going to be pretty damn low, but I'm actually going to show you how to make a thumbnail. Now, this is the new kind of design as well, where you do this kind of quarter thing and you have the logo, stuff like this. So I was reading the comments and the author got back, Oh my god bro, it's you! Uh, please forgive me this time, I felt lazy. Now, I don't give a fuck if you have lost a leg in the war. Lazy does not constitute you taking somebody else's artwork. And you never even done it right. You never even downloaded a high quality thumbnail. You just right clicked on Google and it's horrible looking mate. It's absolutely horrible. So lazy doesn't cut it for me. Just it's an excuse and it's a shit excuse. So there's another user here saying just report it. Now the unwritten rule on YouTube is you do not report other YouTubers, right? You just don't do it. It's not nice. But I'm going to take it one step further. I'm actually going to show you how to make a thumbnail and I'll even provide the PSD file for you because I'm a nice guy, that's why. And I'm going to take the piss a wee bit, so let's begin. So this is called Photopea. It's the equivalent of Photoshop. It is available for free. It's actually a web-based application. And it's the poor man's Photoshop. If you can't afford Photoshop, I highly recommend this, to be honest. So we can click on a new project and it even gives you templates if you're being extra lazy. But we'll start a new one because, hey, why not? So we'll take a Facebook event, and this is 920 by 1080 so it's pretty much HD, and we'll hit create. Now like I said, we actually like to have a border around the video, it makes your video stand out just a little bit. So what we can do is we can select the rectangle tool, we can click off here, we can type in 1920, and we can type in 1080, we can hit OK. And what we can actually do is take off the fill layer, we can enable the stroke, we can select the colour, and let's just put the stroke up a couple of pixels. Let's make it quite chunky, let's make it 32 pixels. Now I'm not entirely happy with the colour, so we can change the colour here, or we can do it here. And we'll pick pretty much the exact same orange as we have in the video. So let's just quickly snap this into place, and there we go. We already have a border. Now when it comes to selling a thumbnail, it's all about the content. It's all about showing off that Blender interface. So let's show this Blender interface. We have a nice asset here. There we go. Now there is a few ways we can actually save this UI. We can go to Window, we can go Save Screenshot, but I use a tool called Lightscribe. And all I need to do is hit Print Screen. I can select what I'm going to copy. And can I hit Copy? 
and I'll quickly jump back into Photopea and I can go to Edit and I can go to Paste. Allow it from the clipboard, there we go. Now, like Photoshop, we have layers, so I'm going to put this layer underneath the shape layer. I'm going to select it. So now I'm going to scale the background image, and what I can do here is I can put Transform Controls on, and I can scale it up. And I think if I hold down Shift, it actually does snap, and check that bad boy out. Now the next thing we need is the Blender logo, because we always need to show off that we're a Blender fanboy. Now just in case you're wondering, the middle finger is from Sketchfab, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But what we can do is we can go to Google, I just Google Google by the way, and we can type in Blender Community Logo, and we can misspell it as well, and look, there's the Blender Community Logo right there for us, dead easy. We can right click, we can copy image, we can go back to Photo P and we can paste this in. Real easy, and we can even scale this right down. Now what I recommend you do is you lead the eye from the left hand side to the right hand side, so realistically the logo should be down here in the bottom right, so we go from here to here, but we'll put it up here, why not? Now of course we need to have some sort of text, we need to tell the user this is what this tutorial is, in a visual representation, so what I'll do is I'll just add a rectangle, I'll enable the fill back, and we'll change the colour to something like black, we'll take off the stroke, and we'll just do something like this. And there we go, we have this nice border, very similar to the image that I made. And I'm just going to move this image up just a little bit, just so we'll get something to play with. So obviously we need text, so you would select the text tool. And let's give the thumbnail a fancy title, so let's call this Blender Tutorial. Check this out, dead easy to do by the way, this only takes 5 minutes. So let's change the font colour to so it's nice and white and it stands out. And let's just give it capital letters, just so we keep everything nice and tidy. And there we go, we have a thumbnail and we have it in under 5 minutes. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. And take care. A douche. Imagine copying somebody's thumbnail. <sighs>